Hello, in this video I'm going to explain you some of the fundamentals uh, in, when programming in Lua, uh, especially focused uh, in order to create uh, robotic simulations using the Coppelia Sim software or VREP. So these are the aims of the, of the presentation. Uh, first, I just simply try to, uh, to make you understand the basics of the Lua syntax. Uh, also, also, I will show you some of the keywords and the arithmetic operators, relational operators, some math functions and so on. And uh, the idea is basically to learn Lua from very simple examples, okay, with uh, five simple examples in which you will get used to that language and uh, also you, you will learn more uh, whenever we uh, see more videos and more examples uh, when programming uh, in Lua or programming in Lua in, a, in more advanced features. So, um, the basic uh, the Lua is an interpreted uh, language, which means that it's a slow language. It's actually based on Z, but it makes things easier. Okay, so especially when handling with memory and things like that. Okay, and um, it has different type of uh, data, especially the nil value, which is uh, something that it has no value in it, and uh, boolean or number, or you can use strings or even tables, and uh, you can. Um, just simply declare a variable by doing an assignment of that variable, so you don't need to pre-declare it uh, in advance as we do in C language. And um, for instance, Lua also accepts when calling a function, accepts variable arguments. Especially, this is an interesting feature if you uh, use uh, multiple uh, arguments on the output. You will see that. And uh, just to remark that Lua it's an extensible language, which means that uh, it can include additional libraries to extend the features. So, these are some of the keywords uh, of uh, Lua language. So, uh, this is, uh, for instance, we can, uh, we will uh, use, uh, for instance, true constant to in for uh, booleans or false constant. We can use, for instance, as well, the for uh, keyword as well do and end together to create loops or if, then, and then end again or even else if to create more cases if we want to make some uh, decision making and uh, for instance also we can use the keyword local to declare local variables and also we have keywords for instance in order to uh, perform uh, boolean operations with and or or not uh, where is it uh, not here yeah and also for instance when we uh, work with functions we uh, will work with function uh, keyword and also the return keyword. And uh, yeah, these uh, are some of the arithmetic operators that we will use in, uh, in Lua. Um, they are quite common and very similar to the ones we use in C. It's uh, the plus sign, the minus sign, we have uh, the multiplication and division, and then we have uh, the, this, uh, this uh, operator here, it's actually performing uh, a, a division and it gives us actually the reminder of an integer division. And we have here to create uh, an exponent operator and also the unary operator to change uh, the value of a given uh, number. Uh, so also we have relational uh, operators to compare numbers and this is quite uh, simple as well because we have double uh, this double equal sign here to compare if two things are uh, equal or not and then it, it returns true if they are uh, this this one is actually if they are not equal this is if they are greater smaller than or greater or equal than smaller or equal than and finally here we have uh, a logic some uh, logic operators like and keyword to make sure that two things uh, will return true if both of them are, are true, otherwise it will return uh, uh, false. This is the OR keyword which will return true if one of them is true, uh, uh, but it will return false if both of them are uh, false, and the NOT uh, keyword that will negate the value. And these are some of the um, functions or math functions that we will use uh, over the examples and they are indeed based on a math library that is usually integrated in the language and 
as any library in Lua, you have to access to the library using the name of the library. Like in this case, in order to create or to access to, uh, for instance, the absolute value, you need to uh, access to it with mat.apps, which is the name of the function, and then provide with whatever input arguments this function requires. Okay. So uh, I'm here just highlighting some of the most important ones, like the ones for trigon trigonometric functions, like arcosinus, arcsinus, arctan, uh, in the, this is also the arctangent uh, with two arguments, so it's in uh, four quadrants, uh, cosinus, also the sinus here, here we have functions for converting from radians to degrees and degrees to radians, uh, we have the pi constant as well, the tangent, we have also, as I said, absolute value, exponential, logarithm or square root, we have functions to compute the minimum and maximum of numbers, to do some rounding like ceiling and flooring operations and also to get um, the reminder of um, values and also to uh, obtain random numbers like these ones, okay. So the documentation for these functions uh, it's something uh, more specific and you can uh, uh, access to that if you if you google it and, uh, and then you you get more information if you don't know how to use them but they are quite standard. Okay, so now let's move to the examples. So let's start with this very uh, simple example in which what I'm doing here is uh, declaring a variable which is called name and this variable equals to a string constant which is James. Okay, this is the first line here and then I'm showing it this or I'm showing a text on, a, on the console, on the Lua console and uh, in particular what I'm doing is I'm declaring or I'm, I'm using this uh, string variable here or this string constant here, sorry, and I'm using this operator to concatenate two strings. This actually could be valid to concatenate a string with a number or a string with another string and so on. And this is uh, useful for instance when whenever we have uh, something that changes like a variable and then we want to show different values with that and then here in this example it will show in the console hello James. Okay, in this second example I'm declaring a, a function which is called sum, this function has two input arguments a and b and I'm returning actually the sum of them so it's a plus b and this is where the function uh, it's been declared and then in the rest of the code I'm declaring two numeric variables bar 1, bar 2 and then I'm calling the function so I'm using the parenthesis and with the same number of arguments that this function requires and I'm assigning the resulting of this sum to a new variable which is called result and then I'm printing the result. Okay, in this other example I'm just basically computing the minimum and the maximum of two numbers. So the function, I'm also declaring a function, it accepts two numbers as well and in this case I'm just simply doing a decision or I'm making a decision in which I'm comparing the numbers. If a is uh, smaller uh, than b then I will return and then you have to take a look to that, I will return two arguments a comma b, this is the way we use in Lua to return two output arguments, otherwise I will return b comma a so then I always return on the first argument the minimum value and on the second argument I always return the maximum value and indeed this is what I'm doing here, I'm declaring two numbers again, I'm calling the function with the two input arguments but here if you look at that we have a new variable which is called minval and a new variable which is called maxval and these two variables, this one will always have the minimum value and this one will have the maximum value and this is what I'm printing there. In this example I'm indeed declaring a table, uh, I'm doing that in a variable which is called a and in this, the, indeed this table is uh, in, indeed contains three different tables. As you can see here in order to declare tables we use, use these brackets here and tables could contain any kind of number, even uh, strings, any kind of object, okay, so they are very flexible although we usually will use uh, standard tables like in C and we could for instance use them in order to store uh, matrices like I'm doing here, okay. 
Indeed, as I said, this table here is stored in three different tables. One, two, and three. And each of these tables is stored and could have different variable length, in this case three numbers with zeros. Then I'm doing a for loop in which I'm iterating from one to the number of elements of A. This will return three because it has three elements. A has three elements which are three tables and then the step is one. And then I'm doing a second loop to iterate over from one to the number of elements of each of the tables inside uh, A and this will return in this case three as well and then with the step one. And then if the, in, the, in this case if the diagonal, uh, uh, if the element is on the diagonal and then I'm assigning a one. Then uh, in this last example I'm doing basically the same thing but the difference is that I'm not declaring any kind of predefined uh, matrix in advance with the number, the amount of numbers I, I, uh, I, I set. Okay, so in this case it's an empty table and I can do that just using this uh, instruction here and then I can do this for as many times as I want and declare in another table in, on each of these elements of this table here. So this is where I create new elements and in this case is also another empty table. And again I'm doing the second for loop, again with in this case with three elements and in this case as before uh, if both i and j are equal then I am assigning one and otherwise then I am assigning zero. Okay, so this is the way I could assign the element i of the uh, of uh, variable a and then inside that element I have another table remember with the element j. Okay. So in this example I have shown you some of the basic uh, programming uh, concepts uh, within Lua. Thank you very much.